Kyle Blazer, K-Y-L-E, B-L-A-S-E-R, Oklahoma City University. Coach Blazer, first off, congratulations. Thank you. How's it feel? Uh, eight was great, is nine divine? <laughs> I, I'd say so. Uh, it, outstanding feeling. Uh, guys really uh, fought hard this week. You know, we had four guys that really stepped up. Uh, unfortunately, Oswin didn't play as good as what we would hope, but uh, you know, had some great leadership step up and take care of business this week. Four guys in the top 10, is that what gets it done? <laughs> that helps a lot. Yeah, it was, uh, it's awesome to have the guys step up. You know, you always uh, hope, pray, plan for uh, guys to play well when it counts. And, uh, you know, we stress peaking at the right time. And uh, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. And I think the guys really, uh, you know, we, we peaked at the right time. And saw you fi following Sondre uh, most of his round. Uh, at what point did you know that he had the medalist locked up as well as you having the team championship locked up? Well, I, I think on the ninth hole, uh, I saw some of the teams struggle a bit and I, uh, I figured that we had it locked up. Uh, I saw Sandre make a bogey or two, uh, made a bogey on 10, and I, I decided that I'm gonna walk with him and try to calm his nerves a little bit. Um, he made a good putt on uh, 11. Uh, and, didn't go in. Next holy birdie. He went birdie birdie. Uh, stuck it close on 14, which is a tough pin. Uh, we missed that putt. Uh, same thing on 15. I mean, he, we were just talking about the birds and the bees and just everything else. And you know, it kind of I think it relaxed him a little bit. And you know, he just started hitting great golf shots. Talk a little bit about Sandre, just a, from a personal level. Uh, I, I got a text from Clark Collier, who played in this championship last year, and he's. He's won a couple championships, and he, he called him the most selfish <laughs> player he's ever been around. He, he puts team first. Sandre, you know, we are walking down the fairway, and he, did the team win? He, he had no clue where he stood, and all he cares about is the team and uh, his teammates. Uh, he's one of the finest young men I've ever coached. Talk a little bit also, um, you, were, you walked with him, as you said, starting on 10. Did you know that he had uh, had a two-stroke lead coming in? No, he, he didn't have a, well, last hole, I did. I did. I, I, I let myself worry about that, and we, we, we talked about a bunch of other things. But, uh, yeah, I knew he had a two-shot lead, and it's unfortunate for Adam. Uh, Adam had a go at birdie on uh, 17 that would have uh, made it an all-square because there's one shot on 17. Sandre missed a short putt that uh, he started it outside the hole and it stayed pretty straight so that uh, and then Adam chunked one he's a, Adam's a great kid uh, so was Aaron uh, those are two outstanding players and they're both uh, class acts so I was happy to see uh, you know them them in the mix too because you know coaches you, you respect the kids around the country that are that do it the right way and both of those guys do uh, talk a little bit about uh, coach Hutton you had him introduce you into this year's Hall of Fame a good buddy of yours the, the t his team came in uh, third place. Right. Yeah, Coach Hutton and I met in uh, Arizona. Uh, he was new to it, and we kind of hit it off. Uh, he's been to Oklahoma and stayed with me, and I've, you know, I, I know his family. He knows my family, so we're we've become very, very close. And he's uh, he's an outstanding coach. He does things the right way, and he's got a bunch of good kids. And you know, I love him to death. He's one of the. It's one wonderful thing about coach, and you, you get some guys that uh, you trust, and you really enjoy being around. And he, he's one of those guys, and he's he's got a good future in front of him. Pretty uh, banner year for you. Just uh, actually, I'm sorry, banner a week. First off, started with the Hall of Fame, then you, your team wins the team title. Sandre takes home the medalist, and you win the Coach of the Year. I don't know. You could have scripted any better. Uh, I guess going to the Hall of Fame means I'm getting old, and. Uh, you know, Sandre winning, uh, what a storybook career for him. And the, the team stuff, that's outstanding for us. Two years in a row, Coach. Uh, do you hope they come back here to Creekside? I, yeah, I love the place. <laughs> Regardless of the weather, it's uh, it's kind of, we kind of like it here. It's, uh, the, the staff's been outstanding. There's been two cart girls. I don't know what time they get here, but they're out filling divots behind us. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's one of, it's a first class event. 
and you guys have done a wonderful job here. I, I've been to a bunch of them, and you know we had spotters everywhere. We had scores and a lot of volunteers and a lot of a lot of work that's unseen. And you guys did a wonderful job. Well, coach, congratulations and thanks a lot. Thank you.